So today we need to talk about a massive strike and this massive strike could actually cause about 33,000 people to walk off the job. Now today I want to break down who this is, which company this is, and why this could potentially impact you. According to a report just this morning, they are now saying that this is going to cause airlines to be grounded. Now I want to break down what is actually going to happen, the truth behind this massive strike, and how, again, it will impact you. So I'll break all this down in just a moment. All I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates, and now let's begin. So yes, this has to do with an airplane company. To be specific, it has to do with Boeing. Look at this. It says a Boeing strike is looking more likely. The union president expects workers to reject the contract offer. You know how serious they are about rejecting the offer? Well, just look at this. At 33,000 strong, the machinists are Boeing's largest union. They were pushing for a 40% wage increase over three years, but instead the company offered a 25% increase over a four-year period. So there you go. They wanted 40%, but yet over three years, but yet the company decided, no, we will give you less than that. We're going to give you 25%, but this is going to go over four years. Now, I want to break this down because somebody wrote to me saying that this is going to cause all airlines to be pretty much put at a halt. Right? There'll be no flights because this 33,000 member uh, union is going to go on strike. I want to be very clear on something. This is not like the airlines. Look at this. Okay, It says, unlike strikes at airlines, which are very rare, a walkout at Boeing would not have an immediate effect on customers on consumers. It would not result in any canceled flights. It would, however, shut down production and leave Boeing with no jets to deliver to the airlines that ordered them. Goes on to say, on Sunday, the company and the union local IAM District 751 announced they had reached a tentative agreement that featured the 25% wage hike and would avoid a suspension of work on building planes including the 737 MAX and the larger 777 wide-body jet. It goes on to say, the deal fell short of the union's initial demand to pay uh, for pay raises of 40% over three years and a restoration of traditional pensions that were eliminated in union concessions a decade ago. Workers would get three a $3,000 lump sum payments, increase contributions to retirement accounts, and the commitment about working on the next Boeing airplane. Now, the key here, again, there's still a possibility of a strike, but just understand this is not, not going to put a halt to all airline travel. It's just not going to do that. Now, keep in mind though, this is going to shut down production for Boeing at least, as far as delivering jets to companies that ordered them. But here's what you need to understand. The majority of airlines do not fly with a brand new jet. The majority of people that are flying around in the sky are flying around on jets that are 15, 20, 30 years old. Okay, They aren't flying around on something that was just manufactured in 2020. Now, a lot of these corporate clients, a lot of these corporate jets, yes, they are very, you know, most of them are newer or newer than what the airlines are flying around in. Especially if you look at something like, you know, Alaska Airlines, you look at Southwest, okay, you look at, you know, Frontier, right, Spirit Airlines. These aren't the newest jets that you're going to see. Now, with that said, what does this mean moving forward? Well, here's the problem, and this is what experts are saying at this time, that we are now seeing more and more strikes are happening or the possibility of a strike is now happening because companies and the workers are a little bit upset and frustrated that we continue to see inflation, but yet we don't see our wages go up to stay indexed with inflation. We also don't see our benefits continuing on. I talked about this uh, last week, I talked about this multiple times as well, that we are seeing companies at this time, they are seeing their benefits get reduced. For instance, somebody was telling me how 
they were seeing that all their company cars were taken away and that the company decided to sell the majority of their fleet to be able to continue to pay workers. So instead of additional layoffs, they decided we are just going to sell all the company cars and we'll use that money to continue to pay you guys until hopefully the economy turns around and we can make some more money. We heard from another person that said that their company decided they were going to cancel all um, contributions to uh, to their retirement, to their 401k. So if you put in, let's say, I think it was like $3,600 in one year, the company would match that $3,600. You would get, again, $300 every single month. If you put that into your 401k, the company would match that. Now companies are not doing that. And guess what? Employees are upset. And this is why these strikes happen. You try to get uh, your employer to pay you a little bit more. You try to negotiate a better wage, better working conditions. Or in Boeing's case, you're trying to get, again, better working conditions. You want to make sure that uh, certain airplanes are being built by your plant, uh, especially here in Washington State. Uh, you want to make sure, again, your the raise that you get, it's going to be satisfactory. Because right now they ask for a 40% raise over the next three years. And the company came back saying that, no, we'll give you a 25% raise over the next four years. Again, it's it's less than what they asked for, and it's longer. It's not what the company's going to go really go for at this time. Now, here's the reason why I think this is so important, though. As we see more and more companies or more and more unions decide to go on strike or uh, push the boundaries of a strike, we are going to see them start to win back some of the power from their employer. But here's the other issue. If we see these companies and these employees actually go on strike, this will hurt the economy. And I've talked about this before, uh, and this was years ago when we were uh, dealing with the strike over at the, the Port of Los Angeles. But one of the things I said was, now first off, in the Port of Los Angeles, this would have caused uh, you know, supply chain issues, it would have been a whole big deal. So we actually had the uh, President Biden and the Biden administration had to step in to prevent this. But here's where things get interesting. If we see 33,000 people go on strike, this is going to hurt the local economy. This is going to hurt um, you know, the housing market. This is gonna hurt you know, banks, right? Lending's gonna be an issue, right? This is gonna be a big issue. But again, this is just here in Washington State. This is a, the Everett plant. Now, if this happens all over the US, again, we are gonna see more and more issues. So that's the reason why it's a big problem is because this could easily spread. And once it does, it will be hard to control. Okay, so now that you know that, just understand that as we get more updates as to you know, whether or not this Boeing union decides to strike or not, I will keep you updated on all that information. But again, the big thing, the big picture is how big is this going to get? Are we gonna see more and more uh, people decide to strike? based off what experts are anticipating, as we get further into this, uh, this election, as we get a little bit closer to December in, in 2025, we could potentially see more strikes happen. So I will leave you with that. But again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.